You know, in recent years, Warren Buffett has actually done a ton of selling, an alarming amount really, including even giant sales of some of his most beloved stocks like Bank of America, completely exiting out of one of his few tech darlings in Snowflake, and even selling more than half of his entire Apple stock, a longtime favorite of his and number one largest holding. And altogether, Buffett was a net seller for seven quarters in a row at over 14 billion, 10 billion, 7 billion, 5 billion, half a billion, 17 billion. And last quarter alone, it was over $75 billion of net selling. That is an insane amount from really someone like Buffett that has always claimed to be a very long-term minded investor. So this was, in my opinion, a very clearly bearish view on the market as he gradually withdrew well over $100 billion out of the market in just the past couple years. And yet, despite all of that selling, there's actually one stock that Buffett has actually been pouring many billions of dollars into every year. So the complete opposite of what he's been doing with the rest of his portfolio, and that is in his own stock, Berkshire Hathaway, his own holding company run by the CEO Buffett, where we can see that share repurchases from just 2019 to last year, so in the past five years alone, they bought over $73 billion worth of their own stock. And even in the first half of this year, they already bought another roughly $3 billion on top of that too. So what exactly is going on here? Well, I think Buffett likely feels that the market is a bit overvalued at the moment. And look, I don't blame him. I also have similar feelings about the market right now, which continues to break new record highs. And so taking some profits off the table does make sense here, especially after the huge run up that we've seen since 2020. Now, on the other hand, of course, like I showed you before, they've been buying tons of their own stock too. So why are they more bullish on Berkshire Hathaway stock versus the rest of the market well it's actually very simple now a lot of people don't even know about this but prior to 2018 berkshire had a rule in place where they would not be allowed to buy their own stock if the price was 120 percent of its book value by the way book value is the assets minus the liabilities and so if the stock price was a lot higher than that like over 20 percent more then Buffett considered that to be overvalued and thus it wouldn't really be a good investment to their shareholders so they wouldn't buy the stock. Now under that rule, they would have to wait until the stock price came down under those levels at which point they would consider it to perhaps be undervalued at that time and thus they could actually buy the stock if it was a good deal like that. However, in 2018, the board of directors changed that rule to where now they could actually buy the stock regardless of that metric. And ever since then, Buffett has essentially gone ham on their own stock, scooping up billions of dollars worth. Now, why would he do that? Well, I think there's two primary reasons. Number one, Berkshire has been flushed with cash that I think they didn't really know what to do with. Typically, they like to either buy stocks or even acquire smaller companies, but with the market soaring as much as it has, they might not feel like there's attractive enough prices out there in the open market to be spending that money on. And as a result, in fact, you look back to 2018, ever since that year, they've had well over a hundred billion dollars in cash, which has only gotten larger to where last quarter, it was north of $276 billion. And that's even with all the spending that they've done on Berkshire stock. So I just think that they were kind of left in a situation here where you lift that restriction and you have all of this insane amount of cash from all the selling that they've been doing in the market, market rising, they've been cashing in profits. So they've got so much cash that it just makes it so much easier now to buy their own stock, which leads me to reason number two. And that's that assuming you have a good enough business that you believe in, well, buying your own stock generally makes sense. It's generally considered a good idea because it gives you really more control Uh, with less outstanding shares out there in the open market. Plus, it gives more value to your shareholders by improving your earnings per share because, of course, less shares means more earnings per share, thus also making the stock more attractive to more value-oriented investors as well. Okay, well, now that we know Buffett has been a big believer of his own stock, should we also be buying Berkshire stock ourselves and following his trades? 
Well, my personal opinion is a little mixed here because first of all, I never like to copy anyone's moves just to copy them. And as much as I do like Warren Buffett and agree with many of his long-term investing principles, the man is not perfect. And much of the selling that he's done in recent years has actually left a ton of profits still on the table. Apple alone is a great example of this where the market cap has actually climbed by over half a trillion dollars higher just this year, which according to Forbes, because of his selling, it may have cost Buffett around $16 billion of lost potential profit if he would have just held on to the stock longer instead. That's not to say that it's a horrible move. Again, you know, timing the market, that's something that I consider to be impossible. I always tell you guys, timing the market is an impossible thing to do. And considering Apple stock is as high as it is right now, it's literally the most highly valued stock in the entire world. You know, I think locking in those profits while you can, while you know that you've got major profits to cash in on, and you know that the stock is extremely high, I think that's completely fine of a decision to make. And I'm, I've never been one to overly criticize anyone for buying or selling a stock. I think you should really do whatever you're comfortable with and whatever fits you and your investing style and your strategy and your goals best. As for me though, Berkshire Hathaway, the stock, while being a reliable long-term investment that I think most people will have success with, for me, it's always been a little too boring and low growth for my taste. Yes, the financials are strong, and yes, they own fairly reliable companies in areas of finance and insurance and oil and railroad and retail and a lot more. But for me, I've always been more attracted to higher growth, maybe technology stocks or other areas that just excite me a little bit more, which even in the case of like Apple, which is still Berkshire's largest investment, well, it's just so highly valued at this point that I don't see a lot more gains to really be had from it long term. Although I do own Apple stock myself just for their insane size and profitability and sticky ecosystem of products and services. But Berkshire though, just kind of feels like I don't even know how to describe it. I guess I'd feel like I'm kind of buying into like a boring ETF, if that makes sense. I know that's not a great comparison, but that I guess that's how I would describe it, which by the way, Berkshire stock itself is also trading at a record high right now with a P ratio that is about 100% higher than the sector on an adjusted basis. And it's even the already the number nine largest company in the entire world too by market cap. So that just doesn't really get me all that excited at those levels. Not to mention that my interest would likely drop even more whenever Buffett finally decides to step down from CEO, which at age 94, I gotta imagine that that's gonna happen very soon. And I hope I'm not sounding overly bearish on Berkshire when saying this, because I do actually think that it's a solid stock overall. But the other thing that annoys me a little bit about Berkshire stock is how little analyst coverage it seems to get. For example, one of my favorite websites for analysis is Yahoo Finance, a super popular site. And yet there's only two analysts even covering the stock there, which by the way, they only project revenues to grow by around 5% or less per year going forward. Now contrast that coverage with most other stocks out there like I don't know, I mean, I guess we could look at Apple since we've been talking about them already, but they have like over 40 different analysts covering the stock. So with Berkshire, I'd have to stay much more on top of it myself and maybe even calculate my own projections for future growth, which can be really hard to do when you're looking at essentially a large conglomerate like this that owns other companies and stocks and is therefore heavily dependent on how all of those companies perform too. And that's just too much of a headache for me to keep track of and analyze and try to project all that stuff. So for a stock that, again, I don't think is super cheap or any kind of screaming buy at these really high levels, I just feel like I'd rather invest elsewhere myself. But again, that's just my personal opinion. And I can still understand why others would want to own the stock. So I'd love to hear what you guys think down below in the comment section. Do you like Berkshire stock? And do you agree or disagree with Buffett's moves here? Does it make you feel any different about him being a long-term investor knowing that he's selling so heavily? Or do you just think that those are good ideas because the market is up so much? I'd love to hear your thoughts, guys. Drop them down below in the comment section. But I hope you enjoyed this quick video and uh, thank you for stopping by, my friends. I appreciate all of your support and I'll catch you in the next one. All right, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.